Hi, um, hello everybody. Um, as Andrew says, I'm Director of Creative Placemaking and Public Programmes for the Royal Shakespeare Company. Um, I'm based in Stratford-upon-Avon and indeed that's our main home. I'm sure most of you know it, but it's a small market town in the heart of England, population of about 40,000 and normally um, visitors of about 4 million a year. So it's a small town, but a global destination. <clears throat> There's been a permanent theatre here in Stratford since 1879. Um, and the tourism industry arguably started after the Garrett Jubilee in 1769. So um, there's quite a lot of making Shakespeare history in Stratford. It runs through our blood. You know, the roads are still the same as they were when he walked them, etc. cetera. Um, what, and I suppose, you know, we, we have come to accept that. We've come to, um, yeah, that's part of our everyday experience. So it was really shocking to first go back into Stratford Town Centre after the lockdown and to discover that really the Stratford story didn't feel like it was there anymore. Um, you know, there were great institutions, the houses were still there, the streets were still the same, but yeah, the story didn't feel like it was still in the streets anymore. Um, so what was really clear to me was that we, we needed to work together as a town um, to make sure that we could get this story back and to find what the pandemic had revealed that had obviously been there before, but to think about what we were going to do about that. Um, in parallel, um, conveniently, the RSC had started thinking about um, a new placemaking strategy. Um, we'd been piloting some different um, activities, so it was great to hear Slung Low mentioned earlier, who we worked with in 2016 on a a fairy portal camp. So we, we opened the portal to the fairy world, which I could tell you more about at some other point. Um, but you know, what was great was we provided free food, there was things for people to do, and we created a theatre magical experience um, over, over a week in Stratford. And um, we'd also worked on a project called Inside Out, where we, um, like lots of people have, we took, took what makes theatre making amazing and took it out um, into the public for free. And um, as people often talk about, discovered that we reached a different kind of audience in doing that than perhaps feel um, they find it so easy to cross our threshold into our theatre. So um, reached 19,000 people over six weeks in summer. Um, so I found a stat that said it was an average of 54 visits an hour, which is quite satisfying. Um, but back to lockdown, um, and that moment and what was really great is that stakeholders did come together so we did it, people did see the opportunity uh, and there haven't been many in the last year but we did see the opportunity to work together to try and find our way through it and it was everybody from you know the market providers to the district um, and local councils um, we're in a different position I realized from lots of people in that we don't get any funding from our local authority and that, you know, it's kind of bonkers that there's this inst international institution in a small town. And I always feel like it kind of tips the town towards the river slightly. Um, and I also wanted to recognise that I know lots of people have done lots of amazing stuff around the country. You know, we've worked lots with our partner theatres on projects in, you know, Blackpool, we're doing Shopfront Shakespeare, which is great, you know, great stuff in Canterbury, etc. I've done a lot of work with Culture Central in the West Midlands, um, really trying to join together with our partners across the region um, to help us um, yeah, galvanise around culture and really um, help people to understand the benefits of coming together around culture. Um, but to talk about Stratford, specifically in Stratford, we did a few projects thinking about those kind of empty spaces. So. We created an advent trail that worked in 23 venues across Stratford, plus us, um, employing a freelance designer to work with us to um, make that trail, make those shop fronts look great, which even, you know, a small thing really helped to make, to get that story back in Stratford, to make Stratford feel like a welcoming place again. Um, recently, we took over an empty shop um, in Stratford. So even though the theatre building is closed, when Stratford started to reopen on April the 12th, we were standing alongside the shopkeepers opening a shop. 
Um, it was a kindness shop. We worked with local artist Sadia Hipkiss um, to do some really, um, I suppose, entry level, easy engagement in culture. So the kindness project, rock, kindness rocks project, where you paint on rocks and leave them around town. And just creating a space where people could come in, spend some time doing something creative and talk. And we had some amazing conversations that made you realize how much people need to talk about the experiences that we've all been through. Um, we're lucky that we've got a National Lottery Heritage Fund project, which we've been able to get going again, uh, working around our costume workshop, which has recently been um, renewed. Um, so working directly with community groups and with hyper-local audiences in Stratford. Um, and really starting to build our placemaking plans. So to think about what we can do in the long term um, from the ground up um, to yeah, bring Stratford together and to help us think about how culture um, can be a really important part of Stratford going forward. Um, we're building an outdoor theatre at the moment as um, home are, of course, and it was great to hear about their plans. Um, so we're building a 500 seat outdoor theatre, which will be playing comedy of errors um through the summer and what's really important about that is you know that brings the economic input back into the town so you know helps all those um restaurants hospitality venues that have also been closed and something really um i feel significant that i suppose i wanted to leave us with is that i started chairing the town center strategy group um that's set up to deliver the neighborhood plan and it brings together lots of the key stakeholders across the town, you know, from small individuals who are campaigning on single issues to all the different councils, to the different funders, to people like the bids um, or the bid. Um, so getting all those people together to come together to think about what Stratford can and should do going forward. Um, so I, I suppose I was really interested um, to hear people's thoughts about how we can make sure that culture, individuals and institutions have a louder voice in local decision making. Um, and I suppose echoing some of the things that were said earlier, but you know, how do we help local authorities to understand the value of culture and how, how do we get better at articulating that value? And I wondered if, you know, there were some specific things that we could do, like I know in the West Midlands, they've set up cultural action zones, which interestingly have helped the LEPs to kind of tap investment into some particular areas um, of Greater Birmingham and Solar Hill. Um, and it's interesting as well for me to think about some of the new government initiatives like levelling up, you know, how might culture be uh, a part of those bids? Um, so, yeah, like I say, really echoing some of the things that um, Councillor Vernon Jackson said earlier. Um, but I, I would be grateful to hear people's views on how we can work better together and how we can yeah, use the sum of all of our parts to make sure that culture and theatre specifically stays part of our local towns and cities. Thank you.